Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In terms of communication technology, China has successfully completed overtaking in the 5G field. It has not only mastered a large number of core technologies, but also participated in the formulation of 5G standards. The United States has always wanted to regain its lead and use its influence to limit the share of Chinese companies in the international market. According to recent information revealed by the U.S. Federal Communications Commission, 40% of local telecommunications companies that receive U.S. support need additional funds from the U.S. to dismantle parts and equipment manufactured by Huawei and ZTE. Previously, the United States required local operators to dismantle communications equipment shipped by Chinese companies such as Huawei and ZTE, and also required EU countries to follow the United States in doing so. However, it is obvious that even if the United States uses security risks as a reason, it still cannot change the current status quo. The first and most important point is where the money will come from to dismantle these equipment and rebuild them, and who should be responsible for the losses caused. To bear it. Judging from current FCC reports, dismantling the above equipment will cost 4.98 billion US dollars, and the United States has only approved 1.9 billion US dollars in funds for dismantling and replacement. One thing to note is that this funding includes not only dismantling, but also replacing new equipment, and the $4.98 billion in funding noted in the FCC report actually only includes the funds needed for dismantling. As early as 2019, the United States required local telecom operators to clarify the Chinese telecom equipment in their networks, which not only included some telecom equipment in the 5G field, but also included some telecom equipment in the previous 4G field. So far, only five telecom operators in the United States have achieved this goal. Currently, the deadline given by the United States is to complete the relevant demolition work before May 29, 2025. However, due to funding issues, this work has not been completed. And judging from the current situation, if the Chinese equipment in the U.S. telecommunications network is really dismantled, it may lead to the need to shut down all or part of the network in some areas of the United States. There is no doubt that judging from the current situation, although the United States has always wanted to dismantle the communication equipment of Chinese companies, it has been unable to implement it due to funding issues. This situation not only occurs in the United States, but also in European countries. However, looking at the overall situation, most European countries are actually unwilling to dismantle the communication equipment of Chinese companies. The EU has previously asked member states to ban the use of communications equipment provided by Chinese companies, and many EU member states have completely banned Huawei and ZTE's communications equipment from participating in local network construction, especially 5G network construction. However, the proportion of EU member states that have actually begun to dismantle or ban communications equipment from Chinese companies is actually only about 30%. At the beginning of this year, the UK did not choose to continue to extend the time for dismantling communications equipment from Chinese companies. Instead, it strictly required local operators to complete the relevant dismantling work before January 2024, otherwise they would face high fines. But the problem is that local operators in the UK are also very dissatisfied with this requirement. According to the predictions of some industry insiders and experts in the UK, if this demolition plan is really to be completed, a large amount of financial support will be needed. The United States has previously expressed its willingness to provide funds, but judging from the current situation, 
even domestic operators in the United States have not received subsidies, let alone British operators. For the United States, the purpose of dismantling communications equipment from Chinese companies is actually to increase the market share of domestic manufacturers in the United States, further expand their market influence in related fields, and even gain certain advantages in subsequent technological development. However, for the United Kingdom, to say this is completely thankless. At present, the UK's 5G network construction is basically at the bottom of the EU, and many areas in the UK are experiencing poor network conditions. Even the network transmission speed in important cities like London has dissatisfied many users. This situation is actually happening in the United States. The United States currently plans to choose the technology of Ericsson and Nokia to build its own 5G network. However, the problem is that the current construction plan adopted by the United States has not actually been tested in practice, and the final results can be achieved. It's hard to say how. The most important thing is that even Ericsson and Nokia have stated that they cannot build 5G networks without bypassing Huawei technology. From this point, it is not difficult to see that the United States is actually hurting others and itself by tossing and turning on the 5G network. However, the United States has not stopped restricting Chinese companies in its 5G network solutions. According to previous news from the US media, the FCC has proposed a new goal, which is to permanently ban Huawei, ZTE and other controlled lists from participating in wireless equipment certification projects. This is actually equivalent to completely restricting the entry of Chinese equipment into the US market and recognizing the national market of US wireless equipment certification projects. Judging from the current situation, although this proposal has not yet passed the vote, judging from a series of previous actions of the United States, the possibility of passing it is still relatively high. Taken together, the United States is now using its influence to restrict the development of Chinese companies, while Chinese companies are relying on the excellent technology they have mastered to fight against it. The construction of 5G networks is crucial and will affect the development of many related industrial chains. Under such circumstances, Many countries have still chosen to cooperate with Chinese companies to build 5G networks. This actually shows that a series of changes in the United States' behavior actually has no effective effect.